Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe. Today we're going to be doing the What Ron Eats in a Day series, losing 10 pounds during the uh, beef and butter fast. I always start my day off with two or three cups of my favorite cup of coffee, the uh, Nanteca Blend Medium Roast. Put a uh, pack of the Mount Root in it, and then a little bit of light cream from market basket, and uh, that's usually how I start my day. I usually have about two, maybe three cups of coffee a day, depending on my night. And... Uh, yeah, so why don't we just keep on rolling along, and uh, there you go. So our first day, we had uh, three steaks, or filet mignons, if you prefer. And what I always do is I always uh, rinse off the, uh, not rinse it off, but I uh, dry out the steak and uh, pat it dry, and then I score it with a knife, and then salt and pepper it on both sides. And th this particular steak I put into the uh, air fryer for about 30 minutes because it was really, really thick. And I like my steak well done to char to a crisp and then I usually spray it with a little bit of cooker spray once I get it into the air fryer and uh, just we let it roll for about 30 minutes over here I'm just uh, weighing up the steaks because I was just curious how much each individual steak weighed and uh, just to get an accurate count of my uh, food intake because I've been picking up an awful lot of weight and I want to get back on track and this is the uh, perfect way to get back on track a beef and butter fast or an egg fast or OMAD or whatever you want to do or carnivore yeah it's all work it's over here and I just spray me over here I just got done spraying the uh, steak with the uh, oil and now I'm puffing it into the air fryer at uh, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes and then I'll flip it at the halfway point which we're looking at right about now you can see they're coming along very, very nicely, and uh, now I'm just taking the uh, fork and flipping the uh, steak without trying to burn myself. Now at this point, you could probably eat them if you like medium rare steak, but I happen to like my steak very well done because that's the way I was brought up. And now I'm making a butter sauce. I took a couple of tablespoons of butter, melted it, and put a little bit of simple garlic powder and onion powder, and this is really delicious and really great method to uh, get yourself back on track and get your body into ketosis over the course of the week of the five to six day beef and butter fast. Now coming up in the video a little further ahead there we uh saturday night there we kind of like broke the uh, beef and butter fast by making some uh, coconut flour pancakes which came on absolutely fantastic so stick around for that particular video and just kind of like follow me along with what i'm doing now and i'm just uh you know pretty soon i'm going to be plating my uh, plating oh yeah and i wanted to tell you guys too that when i did take the steak out of the uh, air fryer it came it was really, really fork tender, and uh, that's pretty much what we were having all week. And then I was making some regular uh, hamburg patties, and uh, I kept it pretty simple. And then I had some eggs in between it, the uh, beef and butter fast there, just to kind of like break up the monotony, so I would I could stick with it. And now that I got the. Uh, steak on the plate I'm going to put a little bit of melted butter over the top and uh, dig in and enjoy my meal and again don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you want to see more of these type of videos you will kind of let me know in the show more because uh, and, uh, and again if you know anybody struggling to lose weight that has done keto or low carb weight loss or any kind of weight loss journey have them check out my channel because I'm here to help anybody that needs my help it's really not about me though it's about you guys and uh, helping you guys to get healthy because without your health you have nothing so you have to get out there and get healthy and uh, 2024 we're making this the best year that we ever had on a weight loss we're being more disciplined and I gave by myself a thumbs up because I really enjoyed the uh, steak that we had on one of my meals I decided I wanted to have some eggs there so I got a brand new frying pan I was testing out this is a copper uh, uh, Teflon and it uh, worked out pretty well. The only thing I wish it was a little bit bigger, so I'm setting out for a bigger one. This is a uh, 11 inch uh, frying pan. I got a Walmart so with the lid, and I'll be sending out probably for the uh, 14 one inch on Walmart. Uh, actually, the Amazon website, and I saw one for around $40. And with, or with the lid, of course, and I, and I like to have it in clear lids because it does help the uh, uh, when I'm doing videos. Now, in this one there, when the eggs were finally finished there, they had an awful lot of butter, and I drained out some of the butter because I didn't want all that uh, 
fat from the butter but the eggs were really really good and uh, you could clearly see on the video how much butter it was now the trick is when you cook your eggs on one side I typically will uh, put them on the other and shut off the uh, stove at that point and when I cleaned up the pan it was really easy clean up I just kind of used the paper towel and dried it up that way and rinse the warm soapy water over it and I, and I just transferred my eggs onto another plate because I didn't want all that butter but there you go that's what I had th that particular day and uh, oh yeah and I had some leftover bacon that I cooked up the other day and what I did was uh, these, these were really crispy bacon if you like crispy bacon but don't judge but anyways that's what we had for that particular day now on the uh, another day we decided to have steak again and this is the, one of my favorite cuts of steak the first cut steak but we not only had the steak but the, the uh, the, the steak we ended up doing uh, bacon steak wrap so we wrapped about uh, I believe five to six slices of uh, bacon around this uh, steak and again I pat dry all the time and I score it salt and peppered it and uh, I put about five or six slices of bacon around and I popped put babies into the air fryer and uh, cooked it for approximately 30 minutes and the reason my real salt is my choice of salt because that's probably the best salt out there that I like anyways and that's a nice new brand new knife set that my wife got me for Christmas on the stainless steel knife set it came with a pair of stainless steel scissors and a butcher block also a uh, shop and I got it on the coals for like under $60 I believe it was on sale for Christmas and this is the bacon that I bought because it was on sale that particular week it was $6.99 a pound I think it was actually was under $6 it was $5.99 a pound and I ended up picking about half a dozen pounds up because uh, bacon has been very very expensive now when you're doing your steak you can just kind of like follow what I'm doing you're fine and, and I just like wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around and again I popped that baby into a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes and I put them on both sides and um, <laughs> we, we couldn't get enough of this steak eyes and when I was biting into it it was like oh my god it was just melting right in my mouth and the taste of the uh, juices from this the bacon it just rolled right into the steak itself and uh but the next time I do uh I'll still score it but I, I forgot I had had one of those uh meat tenderizers so uh, and I used the meat tenderizer the other night when I made some beef jerky and I got that video but I just got to edit it and that, that's uh the steak at the halfway point and I was trying to be very careful not to burn myself but the bacon stayed on the uh steak very well and you know I just uh you can, see, you can see how clearly it's not quite done yet but uh, you know again it came up really really good so let's keep rolling along and there you go and it is the uh, final product there it is look, look at how nice that cut and I just had a photograph up because they ran out of video on that particular when they cut it so there you go so with pancakes and I got this recipe from keto focus I'll have the link below the show more so you're gonna need uh, a ninja blender bullet or some type of blender we got eight ounces of softened cream cheese in our blender as you can see in the uh, video and then we're going to put uh, four eggs at room temperature I've already got a crack in a measuring cup because the uh, I didn't want to make sure I didn't get any shells in them and I'm just showing you in the uh, video what I'm using for measuring cups so now we're going to put uh, half a cup of coconut flour in and uh, yeah so I'm just following along with the directions that I wrote down as I'm watching the video to do a nice voice voiceover and I just meant to make sure I had enough room in there for all the ingredients there's, there's a four eggs in room temperature makes it much easier for them to mix when you're doing uh, room temperature eggs by the way and then uh, for our next ingredients we're going to be using this uh, Regulant Swerve sweetener and uh, really love this product and for that we're going to use a fourth of a cup of sweetener and uh, yeah, and very, uh, and it, it next calls for a half a cup of heavy cream. Now we didn't have any heavy cream, so we ended up using a half a cup of regular milk. And you can see I'm getting ready to pour it in. And then we uh, needed uh, one tablespoon of uh, vanilla extract, or a teaspoon rather, sorry. And then two tablespoons of baking powder. And uh, you know, again, I was just getting, looking for it and they oh wait a minute Jesus I was getting ready to put everything all in and if I got to put the baking powder in so now I'm adding in the uh, baking powder and there's the two uh, teaspoons and once you got everything all in your uh, your blender or your mixer whatever however you want to do this you uh, you could probably use the handheld mixer I don't know I have done it that way before you can even mix it up by uh, the old-fashioned way but this worked this is fine then they put it on for about 30 or 40 seconds there we got it to fully combined and mixed and uh, once I got that off of the uh, mixer itself there, it just popped the lid and it made like a swishing noise, like 
So then I, uh, at this point now, taking the lid off of the, uh, to show you what it looks like on the inside. And uh, yeah, so you can hear some noise from the outside there. We got a snowstorm last night. And uh, what I do is I'm gonna put it on the nice grill over here and then I use the measuring cup uh, only because it makes it easier to make my pancakes. And then I spray it with a little bit of cooking oil spray. And I set the temperature on this at 350 degrees. And uh, the first set of pancakes I made, they didn't flip very well because I didn't wait long enough for them to uh, set. And I was getting kind of impatient. So you can see kind of like the problem I have with the first set of pancakes. But then as I progressed on the second uh, set of pancakes into the third set of pancakes, by the time I got to the third set of pancakes, I was like an old pro at it and they came out really good. Even the ones over here, you could see the problems that I was having with it because I didn't wait long enough to put the set. But they still came out okay and I, I was just trying to help them along a little bit. So, but I, I, it's kind of like eggs right now. You When you're cooking eggs, especially when you're frying them, you have to really be patient. You can see they're a little bit dark brown on this more, more so than I wanted the color to be. It's only because I had it up really, really high and it didn't really, uh, I should have had it uh, going a little while before the preheat my uh, grill and then I'm wiping down the top of the grill. That's what they look like from that angle. And now I'm just doing like three more. And uh, you know, you, you go kind of watch what I'm doing. If you just follow along, you guys will be fine. You could do these in the right, on top of the stove or a cast iron skillet. I find that the uh, pancake grill works out the best. Well, at least it does for me. And then this is what they look like over the uh, video. That's the first batch. You're gonna, you'll see in the next uh, couple of batches how well I was doing. I hadn't made pancakes in a while and I did a uh, six to seven day beef and butter fast, uh, very successful, losing 10 pounds. And I was just craving something different than that. So as you can see, I still had problems flipping it and it just cracked me up. But you know, again, they still came out okay. Now I'm just trying to help them along a little bit there, but pressing them down. I know you're not really should be doing that, but and then I was just checking the back side of the collar there on that side. And, and again, once I figured it out that you had to uh, keep adjusting the temperature on that back and forth. And then on this one, I particularly got a little bit of uh, cocky with the uh, pancake batter and I ended up making six of them. And then on my last set, I made eight, eight pancakes and got them going. These came out really good on this particular batch pat batter. Again, you just have to kind of like go up and down on the temperature and just keep adjusting it accordingly. And the trick of about pancakes is when you see them forming really good sized bubbles on the uh, outer edges, get, it's a good indication that they're ready to flip without any too much problems. And it helps if you had really a wide spatula like I had. And I got that particular spatula from the uh, ketogenic woman. And, uh, you know, I really like a lot of her products. And, uh, so yes, and then watch this. I'm flipping these. But one, two, look at that, guys. Huh? Just like I know what I'm doing, huh? And what, oh, can I cook? Can I cook? So what I did was I separated these all on three plates and I wanted to see which ones were the best ones. They were all really good and they all tasted the same, but I just needed to get a good uh, photograph with a thumbnail. And uh, so that was, a, I wound up taking the third set. And, and again, it's not recommended that, that I do that with pressing it down, but I wanted to make sure they were cooked. And uh, you know, they were a little bit darker on one side, the lighter on the other side. And, but you know, I was really fine with that. And now I'm making my last set of pancakes over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we had three different batches of pancakes, and again, they came out really super and fantastic. And uh, please go over there and support uh, Keto Focus in her channel. Again, I'll have a link below to show more. She makes a lot of, and makes a lot of great recipes for her and her family. Yeah, she is a certified doctor, so um, if, if she's talking about weight loss and how to go about it, you can learn a lot from these uh, YouTubers, including my channel. I have a lot of uh, recipes on my channel for low-carb weight loss, and uh, we're going back to old school keto this month. Again, we lost 10 pounds during the uh, beef and butter fast, and uh, in order for us to break off the beef and butter fast to go keto, this is how we're going to do it. And they can see the pancakes just starting to sit really well on the... Uh, on the grill there, they're getting ready to almost be ready to flip, and then I'll flip them, and then I'll have a sample. Now, when we get to the pot where I actually had a sample, what I did was I put a little bit of butter on one and a little bit of pancake syrup, sugar-free, and uh, to my surprise, I didn't really need to put the sugar-free uh, pancake mix on it because it already had the uh, sorb in them, and there you go, there's my eight pancakes. They, they, that, they, they came out really good. So I just, uh, again, really thank Andy and Keto Focus for her recipe. And uh, 
Don't forget to go over there and support her channel and my channel and the other channels that I have on my uh, show more. And if you wanted some inspiration, I have a Facebook support group, Pines Keto Cafe Facebook support. You're welcome to go over there and post recipes and before and afterwards, photographs and anything else you want to put. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the uh, pancake grill and uh, I've made it. Of course, I made another set. This was actually the fourth set. And uh, I just wanted because I wanted to use up the rest of the pancake batter. And, uh, you know, again, this would say two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? So, uh, yeah, so I guess, I guess you appreciate me, yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, so they came out really good. Again, I just uh, enjoy what I'm doing. I enjoy helping people to get out there, inspire people, and uh, just pretty much who I am. And I uh, hope you enjoy all the videos I've been putting out from time to time. I'm still trying to figure out how to get that game night going. I'm going to have to invest in a small PC for that because the keyboard's not working with that program. And I think that's what the problem is. It's working with the computer, but for some reason it won't work with that program for... Uh, stream on uh, yeah it's when you do a streaming on yeah now I'm getting ready to flip pancakes over look at that guys huh can I cook can I cook the, and that's the uh, pancake uh, batter that I use for the thumbnail photograph and for that particular batch and uh, yeah so just uh, I'm gonna just kind of like keep quiet and let it go and just uh, talk over the timeline when I get to a couple more seconds been just about three or four minutes now so I'm gonna pancakes are ready I'm gonna take off the grill and you can see no problem taking them off nice and easy easy peasy right guys and just take the uh, grill and after it cools down and set it aside and show you the uh, final product coming up here in a couple more minutes here or a couple more seconds I'm swiping down my grill and I got that unplugged and uh, yeah so I just, uh, again, I really enjoy what I'm doing and helping you guys out to get out there and motivate you guys to get out there and get healthy because that's what the bottom line is. And this is the uh, first batch of pancakes that I made. And again, they were really good. It didn't matter what they looked like. And then the second batch of pancakes that I made, or third, all combined all together, and that's the final product on the third one. So, and there you have the final product on the pancake uh, making. I was just, at that point, I was just trying to adjust the camera angle. I use my mobile camera to uh, film my uh, videos now. And then I could put a little slab of butter on it. And I, I ended up melting butter a little bit in the microwave oven and then warm up to the pancakes. And then now I'm adding the maple syrup on top. And again, we didn't really need the maple syrup, but you know, everything tastes better with maple syrup on pancakes, right guys? And there you have my final product. And now you got my thumbs up.